Hello everyone and welcome back to Stay Tonight. I am back with new videos in the React JS series and a couple of more videos and a lot of tanning as you can see from my last holiday. But let's not worry about that and get started with the React JS videos. So in this video, uh, someone asked me in one of the other videos that how one can use Bootstrap 5 with React JS. Now I know Bootstrap 5 is a very popular CSS framework along with Tailwind and a lot of projects are built around you know, using these two CSS frameworks. So I thought, okay, let's create a small video in which I will talk about how you can use Bootstrap 5 in a React.js project. It's very simple, but yes, there are not a lot of resources and sometimes beginners may get confused related to how they can use Bootstrap 5 in their React.js project. So I'll cover a couple of different ways in which you can do it. Some simpler direct approaches and the other ones would be more React.js based. So let's get started. So as you can see on the screen, I have already created a simple basic React.js project and there's nothing over here. It is just a blank user interface. I've also opened up this React Bootstrap page because this is the library or module that I'm going to use. I will, you know, share with you guys how you can use this along with a direct approach as well. So let's quickly start with installing a few things and if you go, so we'll, let's start with the react bootstrap approach. And as you can see, if I click on this, get started button, you'll see that uh, this is also expecting us to install react bootstrap and bootstrap. Now, why we require two packages? I'll share that in a moment. Let's first quickly start installing these. And then I'll talk about why we require two packages. So react hyphen bootstrap and space bootstrap. So react hyphen bootstrap is this particular module that we are bringing in. This react hyphen bootstrap package has all the different HTML elements created into components. So for example, if you want to create a button, there's a button component that you can import and directly use. If you want to create a modal, or if you want to create a card, or if you want to create a pop-up, everything is already inbuilt over here, but only the JavaScript part is available in the react hyphen bootstrap package. So that is the reason that we need another bootstrap installation so that we can have the bootstrap CSS imported in the project and we can use that. So we will be using two things. One would be bootstrap CSS that is coming through the bootstrap package. And the second one is react hyphen bootstrap to sort of create or use bootstrap in a react components through a react way. So one thing would be you can directly import the bootstrap CSS and directly use the classes that are available in bootstrap in your JSX code or the other approach is this using this react hyphen bootstrap package in which you already have all those HTML elements created as components and you can import and directly use them. Again, it's a matter of choice how you like to create. If you want to follow a more component oriented approach, then react hyphen bootstrap is for you. If you are already aware about how bootstrap works and you're more comfortable with writing direct HTML code. So I think you can go directly with the JSX approach and use the classes that are available in the bootstrap CSS. So let's see both approaches. So, okay. These have got installed. Obviously this will be available now in the package.json. And as we can see, yeah, bootstrap is there. React hyphen bootstrap is there. Okay. So let's quickly use it. So what I will do is I will import a button from oh is it giving me a suggestion yep from react hyphen bootstrap i just want to import the button directly so there's a slight difference between the curly bracket approach and this approach in this approach i'm just importing the button component if i use the curly brackets approach the entire react hyphen bootstrap package is imported and from that i'm using button so i don't want to do that Ideally, if you know which component you want to use, you should just import that one and don't worry about the other one. So let's just use it button slash button bootstrap button. Okay. Let's head towards the user interface and see if something's got updated. Nothing's got updated. What happened? Oh. I forgot to start this. Let's just start at npm start. I use the same terminal to install different packages. And yeah, so we have a button over here. As you can see, the button is there. The button got created. So the component button is working. This part is working, but the button is not styled. So like I said, react hyphen bootstrap brings in the 
components in form of react components right different ways different html elements button padal popovers etc they, they are converted into components so that you can directly use them in your react js application but there is no css so what we have to do is and that is something that is mentioned over here in the documentation as well don't believe me trust the documentation so if you go down a little you'll see that okay for css you have to import the css so because we have installed already the css all we have to do is import the css over here and tada and this works for us right now there would be other stuff that you can use uh, go through the documentation the different ways if you don't want to like i said install this second package which is the bootstrap package all you can do is directly use the cdn that bootstrap provides so what i'll do is let me just remove this and add a css directly into my index.html so this index.html is the starting page of my react application right so if i do this i add a cdn uh, which is delivering me the bootstrap 5 css then also things would work the same way as you can see it's still the same also if like i said the second approach if i don't want to go with this react bootstrap so i can completely remove this forget about what i did with npm install don't do that just directly what you can do is go to this index.html import the css of bootstrap and directly start using it why is it so confusing for people to understand that okay React JS at the end of the day is just a JS based library in which things are just like they used to be in HTML and CSS. So if I have to create a button, let's just say I create an anchor tag. Uh, let's say anything. Let's just add a hash and uh, go to home. Okay. And if I use the class name as BTN BTN hyphen primary, if I remember correctly, this is a uh, css in bootstrap available and you can see this is working fine for me i can do any other class so i know personally how to use bootstrap and that's why i remember the classes you can also easily do that similarly if you want to use tailwind as well you can simply use the tailwind css cdn import or use it in your index.html and directly use whatever css class you have in the tailwind in your javascript code in your jsx code and it will work So if I change it, for example, let's say warning, it got converted into a yellow button. So it's working, right? So now you know two ways. One is the React component way, in which you can go ahead and install the React hyphen Bootstrap, go through the documentation, understand how different components are defined and use. So there is also a couple of examples that are given in the code sandbox that you can use. So this is Bootstrap version four. This is Bootstrap version five. and you can see over here once it's loaded so here they have given an example for let's say toast so here is a toast show toast and the toast appears they are using react hyphen bootstrap importing toast and container and button so this is a little tedious way because everything that you have to create if you have to create an extensive web page you'll have to import a lot of things you have to import container separately toast and then button so more the components that you use in your web page more things you will have to import So at times it can become a little tricky, but yes, for a scalable project you can go with React hyphen Bootstrap, or if you are more comfortable directly using the class names in your JSX, go ahead directly import the Bootstrap CSS using the CDN in your index.html and use it in your JSX code. So I think yeah, that's about it for how you can use Bootstrap five in your React JS project. I hope you like this video. I hope you understand. So there are two ways. If you have any confusion, any question regarding these two ways. feel free to comment down below and ask and discuss if you have been following these uh, react js series i'm really thankful and i'll be adding more videos so i'm now venturing into more uh, you know two sides so i'm trying to cover some small small stuff around react js and i'm also venturing into more complex and you know serious stuff around react js along with interview questions so stay tuned uh, if you have not subscribed to the youtube channel please do it so that you get to uh, you know see all these videos that i'm posting and learn along with me and share it with your friends and see you in the next video thank you for watching